What a noisy bunch of birds. Let's go check for eggs. Well, they've been using their next tin boxes for the most part, but uh, they're not always that good at it. Welcome back to Neva Blara Homestead. My name is Raul and this is my brand new chicken and duck coop. Let me show you around. So the first thing I want to show you is this brand new fence. Um, you can see behind me the old chicken coop. And so we decided to fence in the old chicken coop and the new chicken coop. Uh, just to keep the dogs away from the chickens and the ducks for a part of the day. Um, the dogs do like to eat their food, so we'd rather the ducks actually ate their food rather than the dogs. Um, so that's the main reason. It's not the world's best fence or sturdiest, but it keeps the dogs out and that's important for us. So just inside the fence line, we have this livestock water tank, um, which is a pond for the ducks. So at the moment it's kind of empty, but we do fill it up occasionally and I am going to be building a filtration system to keep it clean. So this is the new chicken and duck coop. This is going to have all our current ducks, which you just saw, as well as some more ducks and some more chickens that we have in the brooder inside that are not yet ready to come out. So they will live in here. Let me show you inside and we can see what's going on there. Now, as you saw earlier, we have these nesting boxes in here. They are two-tiered. The bottom tier is for the ducks and the top is technically for the chickens. Um, we might not keep them quite like this. Um, I think we might end up building a dedicated um, a nesting box area for the chickens because they tend to be a little bit different. Uh, the ducks just kind of lay anywhere, so I've been quite pleased that they've been laying in the nesting boxes. I also built this shelf or second floor for the chickens. Um, they've got their roost up here, and the idea is that the chickens are able to then roost away from the ducks. Ducks are kind of clumsy, and they kind of just push and shove and that sort of thing, and I don't think the chickens are going to be very happy with that. So having a nice set of elevated roosts um, so that the ducks, the chickens can get away from the ducks, and so that um, they have their own dedicated space. So behind me here is the ramp that I made so that the chickens can get up onto the chicken floor. Um, it's covered with linoleum, so it's really easy to clean off. And at the bottom here, I made a little landing that is higher than the floor. This is so that the ducks can't try to get up onto the chicken shelf, but that should prove no problem for the chickens to get up onto. Um, I am gonna put slats on here so that the chickens have an easy way to climb up and down. Um, I'm just waiting for my table saw to arrive so that I can cut those pieces nicely instead of fiddling around with the hand tools I currently have. Just like the ramp, the chicken floor also has linoleum down here, or technically vinyl flooring. Um, this just makes it really easy for us to clean all the poop off here. Also, um, it means that we can actually take that poop and use it for compost. Um, we don't have to have uh, shavings with the poop. It can just come down on here and then when it's dry, it comes off pretty easily. Well, that's about it for the grand tour of my new chicken and duck coop. Um, I do want to make a big disclaimer that I am not a constructor, so I don't know the ins and outs of building. This is to the best of my knowledge after watching YouTube videos and stuff. This is small enough that I don't need to um, get a permit to build it or anything else like that. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed the tour and seeing everything that I have going on here. Don't forget that you can catch me on Odyssey, on Rumble, and on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.